What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 FES. I finished grinding, and now it's time to fuse some Personas. But first, I managed to find the last Platinum Medal from the Rare Shadows in Adama. Let's go ahead and turn that in. Elizabeth, look what I got! You've obtained the three Platinum Medals I requested. This means you've defeated each of the Rare Metal Bearing Shadows. They actually weren't that difficult. They were a lot easier to find than the ones in the fourth block, and I think the third block I also had some trouble finding them. I think there was one block where it took like two hours. I, I took two hours to find them, couldn't find any, and then I decided, you know, turn the game off, turn it back on, you know, I'll have some trouble later, or I'll have some uh, better luck later. Turn it back on, five minutes later I found the last one. Yeah, luck can be fickle sometimes. For now, I'm not going to do any more requests. Uh, next time we do uh, anything Persona related, I'm going to go for Shadowhound. But what I really want to do is fuse some Personas, mainly a very important Persona that has to do with Ultimate Weapons. Now that everything is registered, let's see what we can make with the big guns that I have right now. I am going to have to start getting rid of some of my more powerful Personas to make even bigger, better monsters. Which means I'm going to have to say goodbye to some of the best Personas I've ever made in this game. I'll be honest. Skithak, Loki, and even Siegfried. Th these are some fantastic Personas, and I hate to see them go. But we have a job to do to complete the compendium. Right off the bat, I know there's one in here that I want. Is that it? No, that doesn't seem it. Let me try and find it. One sec. Oh, this sounds cool. Mother Harlot. Mamudun and Ziodine starting out. We can give it Bufudine. Look at that luck stat and magic stat. Pretty nice. It's weak to fire, but we might be able to do something about that. Goodbye Haridi, goodbye Lakshmi, and goodbye Gabriel. All three of those are Persona cards you can find in Adama. Hello, Mother Harlot. I just love the look of this Persona, and when you see the 3D model, it's... Go ahead and take a look. It's a really cool looking persona. Look at that thing! Let's see, one, two, three, seven head. Seven heads. A seven headed monster, and she's sitting on top of it. Ride, my kings. For I am Mother Harlot. As for the moves she's going to get, that Mudo boost. She's a death dealer. Oh, and sexy dance, really? What else will you know? Ailment boost. Ooh, that's cool. Gonna keep Bufudine. I think that's hilarious that I can teach her two different magic attacks. Unfortunately, since we're not that high in Persona... In uh, Mitsuru Social Link, excuse me, we don't get too many levels from that. But welcome, Mother Harlot. Should be interesting to use you. Unless I fuse you away here in a second. This one's gonna hurt me right in the deck. But we have to make it. Needhog of the Aeon Arcana. This is an Arcana we haven't seen yet. But I will eventually need one, so Lilith, Seth, and Raphael, you've served me well, but now you're going to become Needhog, the giant worm. I'm not going to get any levels off this, but it'll still be nice to have at least one persona of a new arcana that we haven't seen yet. <laughs> I'm going to miss Lilith. I'm especially going to miss Seth. Seth has helped me through the entirety of my grinding, just off uh, doing my own thing. He is an awesome fire persona. I'm sad to see him go. Let's see. We need at least one more space. Uh, how about this? This looks great. Garuda of the Star Arcana. Uh, looks kind of neat. Magarudine, Mediarama, and giving him Garudine starting out. And one-handed Swordmaster. That's actually very helpful. Oh, and Repel Dark. He has only one weakness now. So Trumpeter and Horus, both of you serve me very well. But we need to make a new Starbird. Especially giving, getting rid of Horus. That was an amazing Sunbird. What else can we give you? Amrita is something you're going to get. What do you have after that? Out of curiosity. High counter. Not the best move in the world. In fact, it's so not good, I'm actually not going to learn it. What else? Repel Wind. Why? Why not Repel Zeo? Darn it. 
All right, well, no, 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 not getting rid of that. Yeah, we'll go ahead and ditch that. I don't think I'll be getting rid of this to try uh, fusing different moves onto different personas. But now that I have cleared some space, let's actually fuse what I came here for. Yeah, I've got an interesting conversation in my deck right now. Hello, Pentagon spread. In the Hanged Man Arcana, we can fuse Attis. Inugami, Takiminakata, Orthrus, Vasuki, and Ubelarus. If you want to think of it an easy way, these are the first five from lowest to highest in the Hanged Man Arcana. The ultimate form of the Hanged Man Arcana is pretty great. Starts with Megidola and Rikarmdra. And if you can give it... Oh god, I can never remember. You can give it a move to have Ghastly Whale be absolutely amazing. As for the move it's going to learn next, Samarakarm? Yeah, this is going to be great. Rakarmdra is one of those moves that I personally don't like. I really wish it did something else. Basically, you sack your own life down to one hit point to heal your entire party. I'd rather just have them take the hit and die and then bring them back with full health with Samarakarm. That would be my strategy. I, uh, Unless you're using a fusion spell that grants you immunity, I just don't see how that would be beneficial. Maybe if you had a healer that showed up, uh, that was next in line, sack your own life, and then they heal you after that. I guess I can see how that would work, but it just, it just doesn't seem that appealing to me. Oh, and by the way, he no longer has a weakness. And all strength against every single physical attack, and it's also... Uh, no, I'm not getting rid of Megidola, are you kidding me? But uh, also look at its defense stat. Think of it as a healing wall. That is a very interesting combination. So hello, Attis, welcome to the deck. That's not the persona that we need. Let me go find the other personas to fuse. In order to fuse the persona that I want, I'm going to have to fuse a smaller persona. Ubelarus and Barong to make Kumhanda. I don't know why I haven't picked this up as a card yet, because there are plenty of these guys in the 5th and 6th block of Tartarus. Every time you get a shuffle time, it seems like I always get this guy. But I must have been thinking of Portable because I never picked this card up. So here you go. Hey, Kumhanda, how you doing? You're actually a very interesting fire persona that's extremely fast. But barely has a damn point in magic or strength by comparison. I really wish you had more of an appeal, but a fast fire user is something I really don't need. I mean, I guess we can give you plenty of cool moves. You just... Wow, repel fire, really? It drains fire. Something's happening to Agidine? No! Maybe I should have done that just so I could fuse it away. All right. There's Kumhanda. Now for the personas I need. Hey, Igor. Bet you never seen nothing like this before. In the Pentagon spread, you can fuse Mara with Incubus, Mott, Pazuzu, Kumhanda, and Attis. You have to be level 77, which is what I'm at right now. And uh, if you've never seen Mara before, there he is. The Big Dick Chariot. Oh, he has an exclusive move, Maralagidine, which deals severe fire damage to all foes, which is the, a first for Persona 3. In Persona 4 Golden, you only got Burning Petals, and that was Yukiko's ultimate move. But in here, he has a move all to himself. Why do I have to make the Dick Chariot? And this is the Persona I actually wanted. This is for an ultimate weapon. I'm not kidding. But it has... Outstanding stats, and it is a force to be reckoned with, especially if you give it Fire Boost, which it actually got. Not a bad combination, but god damn, why does it have to look like that? And to make this story even weirder, in all of Shimagami Tensai, you would think there would be a lot of statues and figures of the different demons, because a lot of these designs look amazing. Like, I would take a, a statue of Loki any day, because he's a cool-looking persona in either game. Mara got one. It's like 400 bucks, and that's not including shipping. You need to pay top dollar for a very detailed statue 
of a gigantic dick chariot with tentacles. Fuck. God damn. And the thing is, nobody can unsee that, by the way. It's all veiny, it's throbbing. What a dickhead. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do. I'm done. Fine, fine. Um, don't stop saying the things. Uh, uh, how about we get rid of Myriad Arrows? Uh, poison Arrow, uh, Power ch uh, Primal Force, that's what I'm thinking of. Stop trying to get rid of Fire Boost. I want that. Mara is a fantastic persona, even though I don't like using it, because I am I think I would be weak to the laughter I get from all the other shadows. But it seriously is not to be messed with. Mara is an amazing demon to summon. All right, Elizabeth, I'm done. And uh, next time I fuse this persona or bring it out of the compendium, we need to do a size comparison. Igor's nose or Mara? Which one's bigger? Now, the grinding I did off screen, I basically did this half of the room. Yukari is at level 70, so is Junpei, so is Koromaru. And then I got tired. Or there was a few more battles until I got tired, so I didn't want to risk it. So we still have Igis, Mitsuru, Akihiko, and Ken to still get it up to level 70. We're going to be back here in a few days. I'm going to try and grind them up a lot more. Just to help myself out. We need to beat the Reaper eventually, and I want to be at a decent level to do it. Winter vacation's almost over. No! I'll get over it. You know what I won't get over, though? What we're actually doing today. I always love when this music kicks in. It's almost like the calming version of a bass drop. Dun, dun, and then the rest of the instruments kick in. It's very cool. Anyway, what we're doing today is... Well, first of all, we need to go to the weapon shop and get our brand new weapon using Mara, which is still hilarious to me. But we're hanging out with Nozomi today. If my calculations are correct, it's all for points. And I'm hoping it's all for points. I don't think we should be moving up in rank. I think we'll save that for tomorrow. Because we only need one rank left. And do you think he will learn his lesson? I don't think so. Out of all these weapons, who do you think Mara belongs to? Well... <laughs> I absolutely love this. Akihiko's ultimate weapon is a fusion of Mara and Nihil Gloves or any Nihil weapon. It has the strange hit rate of 99, which all the other ultimate weapons have a straight 100, but for some reason, Mara is a little askew. Same thing, though. 450 attack plus 10 to all stats. There you go, Akihiko. There's your evil gloves. And I don't even want to look at the gloves that we got from Elizabeth, because I doubt they will be any better than that weapon there. But for the sake of showing what you actually get for doing one of the hardest missions in the game... You've got to be kidding me. This is what we get. The Jack Brothers gloves. 100 attack, 99 hit ratio. These suck. Yeah, so I wasn't wrong when I said, yeah, they won't nearly compare to the ultimate weapon, so forget it. Nozomi, how you doing? I don't have a matching persona for you. Be right back. Man, Nozomi, how the hell you doing, buddy? I think I've already greeted you like that, but... Yep, I've got my black dragon here. Let's go. Let's go to the ramen shop. Sounds like a fun old time. As long as it's with you, my friend, I don't mind. And yep, the music didn't change, so it's totally just for points. Relationship could become stronger soon. That's a rank 10. It's another social link down and perfect timing, too. I noticed that the uh, route that I managed to plan... It took advantage of this winter break. Mitsuru, we are not going to Tartarus. I was just there. You had your chance. Koromaru smells something. All right, well, if he's not in the mood. And uh, I don't think I ever showed this off ever. Perfect timing, right? You can go back to your room if you just select the book there in the front. <laughs> I should have done this like a million years ago. Oh, what? Oh, hello. Do I have time to talk? Unfortunately, Mitsuru, with my schedule, 
I'm sorry. It's not you, it's the schedule and the strict nature of this game. Sorry. When we go back to school, okay? As soon as school is back in session, I'll hang out with you. You were one of the last social links I have to max out. You're definitely getting screen time. Don't you worry. And plus, I want to see what your story's all about. Last day of winter vacation. I bet you can't guess what we're doing on our last day. <laughs> That's right. We're hanging out with Igus. I'm kidding. We can't hang out with Igus. She's just a robot lady. We can't do anything about that. I am curious, though. What's going on in the world? Yukari, how you doing? There's news reports on it every single day. Uh-oh. It'll be okay. Here's hoping the cult speak didn't actually bleed over into our school life. Unless that's what people have been looking at the entire time, in which case... We're probably going to hear about it the day school starts back up again. Which is kind of a scary thought. I really don't want to think about that. Hey, Nozomi. How the hell are you, dude? Yeah, I'm down, I'm down to eat. Always down to eat. That's the place for me. That's right, buddy. Looking forward to it. <laughs> oh, wow, we didn't even make it. About last time, huh? Okay, drop that subject, go straight to Hakakure. Great. Let's go eat some ramen and not talk about how you need character development. Or at least a character revelation. You need something to make you a better person, okay? Mmm, the sweet smell of fish and noodles. Oh no, now we're literally eating time! My younger brother and I were twins, but not the kind that looked the same. He was the better looking one. Everyone compared me to my brother, and I was never able to surpass him. Not at anything. For a while, I'd hit him for no reason, but he always treated me like a brother. We did always enjoy eating together, but when I was in eighth grade, he got food poisoning. I guess it was undercooked or something. Shows him. I ate it and my cast iron stomach made me survive the food poisoning. Wait, he actually died from that? That's terrible. And you're terrible. You didn't learn a thing, did you? Shithead. Tried to be like my brother. I went to cram school and did martial arts and everything. But I was never as good as my brother had been, so I started to feel like people were laughing at me. Because they're all going to laugh at you! When I eat, everything disappears. Like everything on my plate, and the plate itself, and also what I'm wearing. <laughs> you ate to make the voices in your head shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Huh. It's almost like you should be yourself. Hint, hint. Yes. You shouldn't try to be your brother. Your brother was your brother. You are you. That's the... No shit. Is you too busy having your face full of ramen? I don't know. Well, if you really owe me one, how would you pay me back that money you stole from all those kids? Hooray! Our relationship is stronger because we let him know something that should have been known forever ago. As you can tell, I absolutely loathe this social link. Nozomi is not a good person, and I hate hate him. Hate's probably a strong word, and I'm glad he finally learned something at the end of this. But this is the exact same problem I had with Kisuke's social link, in the fact that the issue should have been solved two ranks in, but then you wouldn't have a story. So I guess to extend it out, they gave me assassins and him stealing money in order to go to paradise, and talking about dying. 
that kept it interesting enough, but I still loathe characters like this. I'm sorry, Persona 3, that's, that's another ding on your report card. You had two stinkers of social links. Nothing happened in this one. Except for me wishing that an assassin would take out the character of this social link. On the bright side, though, and no more being negative, we can now create Sandalphon, the Heavenly Messenger. At least we got that out of the deal. Oh, really? Darn it. I can't be a follower of the Gourmet King? Shucky darn why? I don't want to be the new king! Although I will say it is uh, funny, in the Persona 3 manga, I believe, every character actually mentions how the main character can eat a lot but he'll still keep their slim figure. That goes for the male and female. So I guess we have an awesome metabolism. Who will become a food critic. It will be my job to eat, and I will master it. And then once I die, I'll go to my brother and... and, uh... beg for forgiveness? You got it! What is Hajime doing? He's not actually the one talking, but he's still moving. I never noticed that. Oh my god, the weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Now that you don't eat just to hide the voices in your head, you're actually realizing that food tastes good! Nozomi, the light of God shines upon you! You have learned something! Sucked. Oh, hey! And the unfortunate thing is, it had to come at this point in the game. I couldn't do it any earlier, any later. Oh, Koromaru, do you want to go for a walk, dude? Hey, you do! <gasps> and I guess can go with us? Well, I can't decline that offer. Hi, I guess. Have we had a walk with I guess yet? Well, I know we haven't had one since she had her renewed look on life. So this this might be actually nice. She's smiling and everything. Oh, she's looking forward to school. Yay. Walk home together after classes tomorrow. I would love to. Hmm. Little hint hint there of something you might be able to do tomorrow. Hello, Koromaru. Yes, just a little one. We wouldn't want to spoil the pupper. Even though I want to. Give him all the treats, I guess. Since we have school tomorrow, might as well get an early night. <gasps> I need to remember to pick up my special weapon tomorrow. Because it's going to be so great. Well, that's kind of nice. Two days of school after a long break, and then back to the weekend. Nice. We have our original uniform on again. Oh, there's a nice theme. I'll shut up for a second. That's gorgeous. Song change for the last stretch of the game, and it's so nice. Oh, it's very calming, very soothing. And now we get back to the topic at hand. The cult. Yes, students are talking about it. And they've already accepted that the end is here. It's getting worse by the day, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's not going to get any better. Yes. Yes, Ms. Toriyumi. I am here. Of the three phrases I've written on the blackboard, tell me which one is correct. It's wrong, it is wrong, or it's wrong. Well, it's is not a thing that is possessing something, and that's just not right. It is wrong. 
seems like everybody online never knows this. N next, can you please tell people about... Yes, a contraction. Thank you. We are... Mmm, I love this. Such a pet peeve of mine to see the incorrect way of its and there. Another pair of words that are commonly confused. Are you actually? Yes! Miss Toriyumi, you are doing God's work right now. Everybody pay attention to this. There, there, and there. Three different types of theirs. They are there, which is between people, and there, like over there. Oh, please, people, get it right. It's not that hard. Sorry, that just kind of exploded there. English is fun sometimes. Hey, uh, you busy? Not at the moment. Could you come with me for a sec? Oh, sure. Let's go to the rooftop. Hey, we've really never had a chance to talk, have we? It's almost coming of age day, you know? I used to just think of it as a day off. But now, I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out, others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. Oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something, and quick. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They haven't done anything yet, but I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Wow. Becoming such good friends that I'd trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. That thing was inside you for ten years, and you harnessed its power and made it your own. I'm glad I met you. It's embarrassing to say it, but, but that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? Cool. Chalk that up to another amazing Junpei moment. I'd like to think of that scene as Junpei thinking that everything is okay now. Everything between us, any hardships, any misunderstandings that we might have had between him and I, it's all okay now. What he's thinking about the, what the future holds, it's okay now. Everything has been leading up to him finally understanding that it's all okay now. Every decision he's made, what he's going to do later on, God, I love Junpei as a character. Especially when he finally grows up and has moments like that. You can't get any better than that. It's such a good moment. Ah, Junpei! Anyway, I guess uh, we were talking yesterday. You wanted to walk home with us, did you? Since I came to school, my outlook on many things has changed. But I'm not sure how these changes are for the best. Hajime, do you have any plans after school that's out? None in particular. I'll go pick up the weapon tonight, but if it's alright with you, I would like to walk home with you. Sure. 
Oh, yeah? Alrighty. Let's make a pit stop. Oh, I haven't heard this theme in so long, and it fits perfectly here. Really? I've grasped the fact that I can't protect you, yet here I remain. Subconsciously, I was following my feelings rather than the available data. I was so confused at the time that I didn't notice it. But to tell the truth, it seems that the reasons behind my behavior changing while I am with you, Hajime. Oh my god. Yep. You thought we were done getting social links? How about one more to round out the entire deck? I guess has the Aeon Arcana, the final Arcana to max out. 23 days left, it should be enough time, right? I'm not, I'm not sweating here, guys, don't worry. We just have two more social links left. Yeah, this new Arcana, the Aeon. That's new. I talked about what drives people, but of course Koromaru and myself aren't people, well, in the literal sense. Oh, it's fine. Aw, don't be like that. You and Koromaru are brilliant team members. Hell, I'll call you human. Koromaru has more emotions than a lot of people nowadays. Where have you been? I've been having a heart-to-heart -heart with Igis. Don't care what's going to happen to the world. All I'm going to do is keep moving forward. Hell yeah, Akihiko. And that's actually a good sign. I wanted to bring you along to Tartarus. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to head to Tartarus, and I'm going to do a lot more grinding. So how about next time on Persona 3 FES, I will meet you in Tartarus after all that grinding. We might do a bit of fusing on the side just to see what I can get. But the main goal is to get everybody up to a really decent level. We're going to have to fight the big bad shadow here eventually. But let's take a look at this. Mitsuru, rank 6. We have finished the Moon Arcana. Thanks a lot, Nozomi, I guess. We have one more rank of the Sun Arcana. That'll be coming up here soon. And our brand new social link with Igis of the Aeon Arcana. Oh, boy. Oh, we got less than a month to do that. It should be fine, right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm not scared at all. See you guys next time.